When we think of bees, we often picture worker bees collecting pollen, nectar, or even defending the hive. But what about drones, the only male bee in the colony? Why are they important and what do they do? Well, today we'll explore the short but significant life of drone bees, their purposes, their behaviors, and why the colony can't do without them. And we're going to dive into that right now. Our story begins when a drone is hatched by an unfertilized egg laid by the queen in a larger hexagonal cell. Now, unlike his sisters who emerge after 21 days, the drone takes 24 days to develop. Now, they're fairly easy to spot, being larger than worker bees with huge eyes and no sting. However, despite their size, they don't do any chores in the hive like worker bees. Drones, they are fed and also cared for by worker bees because they don't collect food or help maintain the hive, therefore relying on their sisters to survive. So no cleaning, no nursing, no foraging. Well then, what do they do? Well, drones have only two missions. One, to motivate the worker bees during the springtime to start a new year. And two, the most important one of them all, to mate with the queen. In the springtime at around eight days, drones, they become mature enough and start leaving the hive on mating flights. They go to the special location called drone congregation areas, where hundreds or even thousands of drones await for the arrival of a virgin queen, which is why they have those huge eyes so that they can spot those queens from afar. When a queen arrives, it becomes a high-speed race. Only the fastest and the strongest drones will mate with her mid-air while flying. However, there is a twist when this occurs. They only get one chance in their life to do this. Because when a drone successfully mates with a queen, part of their reproductive organs will break off and stay inside of the queen. Now, the drone, they will fall to the ground and die shortly afterwards. Now, the queen should go back to her colony, get cleaned, and then fly out of colony to continue the mating session. Although it is a sacrifice, it's a successful one in the end because the drones, they were able to pass on their genes to the next generation. However, not all drones get to mate. In fact, most don't. And if some were born after the mating season is over, they won't even get a chance. And because of this, as the season goes on and as the colony prepares for winter, drones, they're kicked out of the colony. That's right. Worker bees, they'll begin evicting drones with no role in winter survival and eating twice the amount that a worker bee does. Drones, they are removed from the colony and being unable to feed or take care of themselves, they'll perish. It is harsh, but it does help the colony to conserve its resources and also up the chances of surviving the winter. The life of a drone may be short and with only two purposes. However, it's critical. Without drones, there would be no new queens, no new colonies, and no future in the hive. While they don't build, forage, or defend the hive, they do have a vital role, ensuring the continuation of their species. And without further ado, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like and also comment down below if you have any questions regarding this video or any other topics you want me to cover. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you will be notified every single time a new video has been uploaded. Until next time, this is Bees Are Funny, buzzing out.